Hey, it's Maria here. Good to be here with you today. Welcome to today's Q&A. I have been challenged, apologies for the wind if you're hearing it, I've been challenged to show a little bit more about my lifestyle and my environment. And here we are. So I'm in the paddock. So I'm out of the stuffy office. I'm here in the paddock. This is where I live. And you may see some horses there. And yeah, this is this is the kind of environment in which I live and do most of my creative work. And uh, it's a pleasure to introduce you to that space. Thank you for being here with me today. So today we have several questions that have come up. I'm super excited to get into it. And the first question is, what is something that you love doing that you can do for hours and days? Well, <laughs> I guess the, that question was answered, um, can be answered very easily. Those of you who know me, I'm, I'm big into horses. I, um, I have been, I have an equine science degree, an agricultural science degree, and I have been uh, working with horses for 25 plus years. So I've basically been riding for over 30 years. And, um, and horses are something that I could just do, do days in end. And interesting thing is that some of you know that one of our horses, Red, uh, passed away uh, some weeks ago. And we now have a new horse. We haven't named her yet. But um, um, over the last four days, I had to go and pick her up because she was an unhand unhandled horse. So she was very uh, scared of everything and not experienced in anything. And asking horses to go into a, a trailer is like asking them to go into a metal cave on wheels. And of course, if you know anything about horses, you know that um, the, the uh, horses are a prey animal. And their natural predator is the mountain lion. And where does the mountain lion live? In a cave. So, you know... Hi, Chris. Good to see you here. So, yeah, so it was a big ask to ask a young horse, an inexperienced horse, um, to go into a trailer so that I can drive her home. She's been with her with her herd for the last six years, with her mother. So it's overall a big, big deal. And what I did was on Sunday, so today is Thursday. So on Sunday, I went and played with her the whole day. It was very dangerous because she wasn't handled. It was very challenging. It was um, it was something that I used to do every day but haven't had to do for a long time because of my own horses, you know, being so well behaved and, and we have the same language. We understand each other so we kind of work together. And she's coming along really well now but the first day when I went to work with her, she was running on top of me. She was rearing up and trying to get out of the situation. And she fell over a couple of times because we had a disagreement about stuff. And finally, she accepted that she was going to work with me. And so we started working together. And I was there for about six or seven hours on Sunday. And then on Monday, I drove back. So it, the horse was actually about an hour and a hour and 15 minutes away so every day that I went there to play with the horse so Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday I um, drove for two and a half hours each day to go and do the work and then come back um, so I went there on Monday everything was so much better still a little bit dangerous still not taking anything for granted um, but she had accepted me as the person that she was going to be communicating with, which was fantastic. And then on Tuesday, she was uh, a lot better, like a lot, lot better. We actually got her into the trailer as in she walked into the trailer by her own, you know, own um choice because we don't force horses because especially with big horses if you force them because they can become so flighty it just becomes really dangerous and they can just run over you and and, and really hurt you injure you or even kill you I've seen I've seen it all in my years into this so um, so then yesterday um, she was comfortable with me which was great she was comfortable with the box, which was great because that was the three days that, you know, she got comfortable with the box. Yesterday, uh, I sent the message to the seller. Can you please not feed her uh, in the morning? I'll be in at about nine and I will feed her in the box. And that's what I did. And I, she saw the food and she was comfortable with the box. She was comfortable with me. She walked in 
and started eating. So then I did a couple of times, you know, back and forth to get her off the, uh, you know, off, off the the trailer and back in. And then I closed the trailer and um, drove home. So what's something that I can do for hours and hours and hours and uh, be totally inspired by it? Playing with horses and anything to do with horses and hanging out with horses like I'm doing right now. It's so relaxing for me because when I was a child, uh, the very first experience of the kind of sense of real true belonging I had was to sit on a horse. I knew um, that's where I belonged. So, horses! <laughs>